Our eyes on Capitol Hill this morning for the second day of the historic second impeachment trial against former President Donald Trump. He's charged with inciting an insurrection January 6th as Congress was certifying the election results. Well, yesterday the Senate heard a pretty emotional appeal from Democrats. Anna Wernicke joining us live from D.C. with a look ahead. Good morning, Anna. Good morning. Well, the big question on the first day of the trial was, does the Senate have the jurisdiction to try a former president? Well, six Republicans joined all 50 Democrats to say, yes, this process is constitutional and now can move forward. Democrats opened Donald Trump's second impeachment trial with an emotional appeal, forcing senators to relive the moments that rioters stormed the U.S. Capitol last month. As one senator said, they could have killed all of us. That's a high crime and misdemeanor. Lead impeachment manager Congressman Jamie Raskin says it's clear the former president is responsible for the January 6th attack. If that's not an impeachable offense, then there is no such thing. But Donald Trump's lawyers argued the former president is not guilty. In the first article of the Bill of Rights is the First Amendment, which says Congress shall make no law abridging freedom of speech. Instead, they called the entire trial purely political. We are really here because the majority in the House of Representatives does not want to face Donald Trump as a political rival in the future. Some Republican senators say they were disappointed with the former president's legal arguments. Louisiana Republican Bill Cassidy said in a statement, the House managers had much stronger constitutional arguments. The president's team did not. In this vote, the A's are 56. The days are 44. Still, the senators sitting as jurors voted to move forward with the trial, setting the stage for opening arguments to begin on Wednesday. And the Senate will convene again today at noon. First, we'll hear from the House impeachment managers. They'll have 16 hours to make their case, followed by the former president's legal team. Live in Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke. Back to you. Uh, Anna, thank you so much. All eyes on D.C. this morning.